Hey, what's up, everybody? We're here at Move Makers. I'm with Ricky Glitch Evans. It's an honor. Uh, he's one of my most favorite dancers in Philadelphia, and I'm excited to ask him a few questions. So hopefully you gather something from the questions and, and what we discuss. So Ricky, thank you for being here, brother. Yeah, of course, man, my pleasure. Yeah, and uh, you really do an amazing job teaching the kids and, and, and getting them righteous. Try, <laughs> That's, Try. How I... Try, man. Try. That's how I see it. Um, so one of the things I want to discuss is, is the simple fact that hip hop dance can be learned in so many different ways, right? Um, you and I have had similar ways of coming up, but then also we have our own unique facets and how we've been raised up in the dance. Um, what I'll say about the way that we came up in the dance is that we, it, I have the sense that for our community, understanding the traditions, understanding what came before us was very much a part of our upbringing. So we knew what was going on with music and dance, you know, that was happening during our generation. But part of learning the dance was, oh, I want to do what I saw my uncles doing, or I want to do what I saw Fred Berry doing on what's happening. And um, I get the impression that that's not the same uh, dance experience for the young people coming up today. Um, Y'all don't even know who Fred Berry is, do you? And that's uh, an issue. But I'm curious to, to know how you see what's happening for generations now and what maybe some of the, the distinctions are for, for the various different ways of learning hip hop dance, whether it's in your community, whether it's through social media, whether it's going to a dance studio and what are, what is the value for a young person knowing who Fred Berry is? And maybe you can even talk a little bit about who he is or knowing about how we got to this point where we are in hip hop dance culture. Right. Well, you know, going back to what you were saying about us, you know, coming up a certain kind of way and learning things, like, you know, one of the biggest things that resonated with us was, you know, were reruns. Reruns, Fred Berry. Um, you know, but actually being able to watch these old shows that came before us was part of our inspiration. Um, that's what we had in front of our faces. Nowadays, kids have the phones in front of their faces and they've got TikTok and they've got YouTube and Instagram and everything else. So everything that's trending is what they see. That's all that they see, that's all they know. So we knew something totally different growing up. And what we knew was our history. And right now, um, what everyone is focused on is just the now and you know even the future. But you know, no one knows where we've like come from mm -hmm. you know, these days. And I think it's just one of those things that it's the reason why schools are necessary because teaching that history can really help you understand the cycle of how these things go. Like, there's nothing new under the sun when it comes to like any of these things. You know, there's always going to be something new that's going to be met with a certain level of opposition, but that's also going to be the way that that generation chooses to express themselves. Which is why you know we have respect for the history that came before us. But we also know that us as ourselves are our own individuals, and we have our own journey. And we have our own ways of like you know to express ourselves, and you know so we look back to the historical people, um, you know those that really made an impact on their generation, so we can really understand how to make an impact on our generation. Fred Berry being one of those people, like you know he brought that that dance that locker aspect to to TV, you know, um, and not to say that he was the first one to do it. Obviously, the locker part of the TV, you know, with the Soul Train and with you know, all their performances and commercials and so on and so forth. But, you know, Fred Berry was one of those people to take it to like a stage and to like a sitcom where like, you know, people who may not even been anywhere near into dance or anything like that would have an understanding of what locking was and who those people are. Um, so basically like, you know, having, you know, access to all these tools that we have, you know, we gotta start using the right way. And that's for the younger generation and the older generation as well, because we also have to remain current as hip hop instructors, because that's what hip hop is. Hip hop is always going to be a currently trending style, and you know we always got to be in front of that as well to educate the kids on you know how it got to this point, and 
you know, for us to stay in front of that and so we can be able to relate to these kids and not feel like, you know, we're the old people out and we're just trying to like tell them, you know, what the history was all the time. Mm -hmm. um, we have to have that. But at the same time, the kids also have to have the respect for the generations and the history that happened before them. So they can really understand that it got to this point because of the people that got there, mm -hmm. that got us here. So, you know, we really want to focus on like doing those things. I think that's the importance of like the education um, that we give. Uh, I think it's also important to also point them in the right direction, social media wise, as, as, far, as, as far as where the food will go. Um, I think, you know, um, when you pick up the phone, whatever's going to be in front of your face is what it is, like, you know, and the way the powers that be in social media, like, has the control, they're going to show you what they think is, like, you know, important, and you're going to grow to believe that this is what it is, and there's so much more beyond that, that, you know, that kids can definitely learn and benefit from if they're in, like, you know, in the right hands. Yeah, and um, all of what you have said has inspired so much thinking from me just now. Right. And um, one, one follow-up question that comes to mind is based on the fact that hip-hop dance originates as a, as a folkloric form. It's a social dance. It comes from the communities. But we've gotten to a point where it's, it's a craft, you know, maybe some of our students are participating in it as a hobby, but ultimately that hobby, if they're really serious about it, turns into a craft, right? right. Um, and, and in society, it's part of a major industry. So it makes me think of um, art forms and crafts that have such uh, sophisticated levels and layers of being um, similar to just music, for example, there, right. music in itself is is something that is vast. And um, let's just take, for instance, jazz music. Jazz music might be similar uh, to what hip hop music is in terms of how it, it's come into existence. Right. Uh, jazz was first a music that was played in social institutions with people and then it becomes this more uh, technical, uh, sophisticated form as it, as it moves through the ages. I, in a lot of ways, see hip hop as something that has gone through that type of development. Yeah. And so with kids who are doing it for leisure um, and possibly developing um, a kind of command over it to the point where they are, uh, you know, taking grasp of a craft, is it worth us even considering the fact that, um, you know, let's think about a jazz musician. The jazz musician that knows theory, the jazz musician that knows the standards, right. is going to be able to do so much more as a contemporary jazz musician, or um, just as a, a general musician who is interested in moving into other fields of music. They have such a, a a fundamental layer of knowledge. So how does that connect to what we've been talking about in regards to hip hop history? Well, understanding the history um, is also understanding the culture. And I think having that cultural understanding is what helps elevate the dance. Because you can be as technical as you want to be with like the actual dance. But if you don't understand the feeling behind it, then you're definitely losing a lot. You're missing like almost half of it, half of like what's essential to like really have the like full grasp of like what hip hop dance is. The same way that, you know, like I said, jazz um, and, and the way that that like came about, like it's based off of like culture. It's, 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 it's a cultural movement. Like it was a, it was an expression the same way that hip hop was. It was a, it was a cultural rebellion to the oppression that was happening in that moment. So. In, in essence, you have to understand what people really went through at that time, and understand like you know, it's 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 a psyche. Mm -hmm. you know, it's not just like the actual technical aspect of how to do this move or how to do that move. You know, people express themselves through the dance because of what they were going through at that time. Mm -hmm. um, that goes with hip hop. That goes with the funk style before then. Like I said, these are all like you know, fighting different battles, and like the dance was the way to connect. You know, dance has been in our you know DNA since our ancestors, like that's our, that's our connection to the environment. That's what it was used for 
you know, way back when. Um, and that's what it's always been throughout the years. It's always like transcended as, you know, our connection to the environment, our cultural connection to the environment. So the way that we express it um, is going to be different than what the generation underneath us or the generation before us is going to, is going to experience. But they have to understand that experience. Mm -hmm. um, they have to understand that history. They have to understand how people in that time period chose to, you know, express themselves and chose to make that connection. So they themselves can understand how to make the connection now, mm -hmm. right? Because everyone's going to be fighting a different kind of battle, and what comes out is going to be that expression based off of like their own inner struggle or external struggle. But if you don't know how to like, you know, use that in order to influence, get into your dance, then you're only going to be able to go but so far. Mm -hmm. It's going to be like an amazing technical dance, and that's going to be great. But like the connection and the feeling, like actually living it, is going to hinder you from like fully accessing everything that you can in order to be like the best hip hop dancer that you can be. So is it fair to is it fair to say that maybe a move maker student might not be able to relate to Don Campbell's experience when when Don Campbell was was um, active and in his prime as a as a dancer but they can watch and research and witness that him in, in his action but then also make a, a generate understanding to the cultural context and then the work for them to do from there is to explore how those expressions can be molded and made relevant to their current condition in life. And so, you know, the, the expression in something like locking, you know, the, the way that the, the joy, the looks, you know, those things aren't, those things aren't so much a part of the, the gestural vocabulary of young people today. Right. But is it to say that them having some sort of exposure or some sort of ability to to grasp and understand that can give them a new pathway and platform to or it can give them a, 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 a platform or pathway that they can that they can trust in and be informed by to express things that that do exist within them right. and they can they can make it true to whatever experience or, or, right. or, or situation that they're in right now. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, and understanding any of the pioneers that have like, you know, done something with hip hop dance and how far they've taken it. You know, you gotta understand, you gotta at least understand their journey and the path and what they went through to really understand like your, cap your own capability, right? You know, um, any one of these people, any breakthrough that has come out of hip hop has, you know, been a bold step forward, has been a bold step through adversity and that's going to be here forever. Like you're always going to have to like make a, take a big step or a big leap or a big risk or a big push in order to get yourself in, you know, a certain kind of light. Um, and that's what all the pioneers have always had to do. Um, even if it started from something as simple as a hobby or just something that they love or even a skit and an escape, like that's relevant throughout all the time. You know, they say there's nothing new under the sun. They say history repeats itself. So you know, somebody is revolutionary as Don King Lock Campbell, you know, he's the first person to do what he did to bring locking, you know, to bless us with locking and bring locking to the world. But that's not necessary to say that he's the first person to ever like, you know, dance and do something and go viral. Mm. Right? Because that has happened before. And that's happening more now than it was then. So, you know, for anybody that, you know, is in the now, they see all these people that go viral all the time and did you see this person, did you see this person? Don was that person. The only difference is not everyone had a phone to see it, but he was like, you know, that essential person. And the people before him were those essential people to help, you know, bring certain styles and, and cultural expression to the forefront. So I do think it's very important for, you know, kids to really understand that. So you can see that it's been done before. It hasn't been done the way that, you know, you may do it, but you can at least understand that in certain situations, you know, humans are going to react mm -hmm. and you know you can see that certain dancers or certain humans or certain people musicians artists they react a certain kind of way and this was their expression this was, this was their expression so you want to be able to you know internalize that internalize that ability to like really create something based off like you know your own surroundings and your environment and you just use them as examples that's